Good afternoon. My name is Scott Rutherford, Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. Welcome to today's recap and look ahead. So in the morning call, you know, a little bit of a head scratcher, right? You had uh, ILMN down about 40 points. You had Netflix down 10%. You had IBM down 8%. And, you know, overseas basically had our futures up with the tailwind. Um, so trying to figure out what to do in my morning note, I'm like, you know what? You know, I, I would sell, you know, Amazon, sell Google, maybe trim Facebook. Um, Apple's been weak, you know, if you're still in there, maybe, you know, sell or, or trim because again, you know, with my day count rule, a lot of those were a bit extended. So all of a sudden, you know, technology started to sell off. But while that was selling off, you had, you know, Goldman that reported go green, you know, and on a pretty, pretty mediocre report, but, it, you know, wasn't really, you know, it had priced in a, a bad report. And then that drove the banks and plus energy was strong. So it was really one of those days where you had to pick and choose your battles where you wanted to live. Um, then later in the day, the, the spiders, you know, sold off, but then, you know, couldn't get downside selling and hold below yesterday's low. So just a day in the life of trading during earnings season where you really have to be focused and entries and exits matter so much. And, and so does your stock selection. So let's go right here to um, the chart. Here's your spiders. You know, not much, you know, to your SPX, not much to, you know, review except for, you know, there's your double bottom. There's when the 8 and 21 day held. And this has basically been, you know, the trend above that 8 and 21 day since. So today, um, you know, you have a, a small little point of reference here with um, that low being, uh, you know, 2091. Um, yesterday we held this pivot and still very methodical. Um, lots of areas to get involved longer. You know, here's when it held. You know, your 2040 and gave you some follow through sideways and up. And, uh, you know, first kiss of 2100, you know, it didn't, uh, didn't really get slapped too hard. So making the market come back for more, I guess. So we shall see. If you um, look a little further back, you'll see that, um, <laughs> look at the size of this friggin' wall of resistance here that um, I guess we'll see what happens at some point there. But at this point, the trend is still your friend. Maybe you don't want to be all in long, but there are still a lot of setups you know, happening and, you know, and, but shorting, um, I guess, you know, depending on the situation, hasn't been that easy either. So today, um, you know, just real quickly, we'll go through Netflix, um, opened down and continued lower. And, you know, there's your Netflix for now. So you have this big hole in the chart of Netflix that puts it in the penalty box and it'll stay there unless all of a sudden, you know, it reverses and tries to fill that, but close on the dead low. And now this ascending channel, has pretty much been, you know, uh, resolved to the downside. So what do we know tomorrow? We know yesterday's or today's low, and we'll see if it opens up and trades through and gets followed through. Maybe it does a red dog reversal. Who knows? But at this point, it was a trend down day there. IBM, I think, was the also. It was also a, a trend down day. You know, IBM had a, a huge move, you know, up, up this level, um, open lower. Here's your gap now. We'll see how long this open gap stays there to see how weak this is and whether or not, you know, uh, this gap, same way you had this gap up that never got filled, okay, and ignited a new move up there. Well, now you have a pro gap to the downside, you know, on earnings. So we'll see whether or not, you know, it goes sideways and fills it and doesn't care or, or, or moves, moves around. Um, Amazon, you know, guys did decent, you know, uh, shorting it off the open. It opened up, you know, we talked about how entries and exits matter. Well, here is your, um, uh, you know, this is your strategic buy. When it broke above this flag, that's when I was involved in it. And then day one, day two, sell day three, sell day four. And here is your day five, which a lot of people were upset because it was still going up. And then today it sold down. But what did it really do, I guess, in the scheme of things? Held above the eight day. So, you know, if you didn't chase it here, this, you know, wasn't as painful. And maybe you actually even made money off the lows. Now we'll see what's next. Google um, also, you know, gave you, um, you know, a big wide range bar. Um, here is your, you know, your red dog reversal. Here is where you enter. And then you have one, two, three, four, five up days. You better be careful. So it opened up, went red fast, and it actually, you know, held the, the eight day. Because again, you know, if you have something like Netflix, which is priced for perfection, you know, getting no free pass on, you know, on earnings, Okay, then, you know, some, some fast money might say, hey, you know what, I want to be a little bit more careful with Google, and now we'll see what shakes out. They might be like, hey, I want to be a little bit more careful with Amazon. But this actually held in a little bit better. Um, as far as Apple, it, it gave you the shot, you know, the, sh the shot across the bow right here on this day. 
you know, a stock that gets above the 200 day shouldn't be giving it back so fast. This is when I got stopped out also. You know, this engulfing day, you know, could have saved you some money. Um, and now, you know, it's below the 8 and 21 day, so it needs to prove itself that it's worthy. There's lots of reports that this quarter the iPhone is going to be, you know, horrendous, and then even next quarter might be slower. And if you think about it, you know, you come up to you know, me, you know, here's your uh, iPhone 6, right? Your iPhone 6, beautiful. Uh, and then you have the 6 Plus. I feel like so many people got the 6 and 6 Plus. So, you know, the, no one needed the 6S and, and a smaller version. You know, who the hell's getting smaller phones, in my humble opinion? Maybe overseas, but overseas they're going for cheap models anyway or they're cloning this. So, you know, a little bit of a slowdown there. So when there's something, you know, conceptually that might be wrong, you have to um, watch things close. And right now Apple's been weaker, but at this point maybe there are some small trades there. You know, Facebook's also been wishy-washy, but Facebook, right, right around 12 o'clock, you know, showed relative strength when all of the rest of high beta tech was getting killed. I turned to my friend Chris, I'm like, hey, Chris, did you see that? Facebook didn't go down while the market just got killed, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get in it," you know. And then all of a sudden, boom, Needham upgrades it, and now Facebook looks a little bit different, you know. Not awesome, but you know, this held right here, turned up, took out this little spot, and closed near the highs. So maybe Facebook's back in the in the game. So let me talk about the divergence that you could have seen midday. So go to your five-minute chart. So here's when it sold down, okay? Sold down. Um, into support. I remember I was actually trying to short it here and then I covered. And then right around, you know, 12 to 1 o'clock. I just want to show you something. So here is, you know, where the support was. Here's the low of the day. 12 o'clock, look where it held. 12.30, even a little bit higher. Now go to the spiders. Spiders, okay, basically held up, you know, broke below. 12 o'clock, the spiders, okay, are on the lows of the day. So spider is on the lows of the day, after filling the gap, showing weakness, go to Facebook. Facebook, the same time, at uh, 12 o'clock, okay, held higher, didn't get taken back to the lows of the day, there's your divergence. Then all of a sudden, a report that Needham, you know, upgraded them, that the whole ad spending thing is overblown, and boom, switch gears. But that relative strength, when the, when the spiders went to lows and the cues went to low, let me show you the cues too, what did the cues do at that time? The cues, boom, you know, the cues, uh, made a low well before, okay, well actually look at this, look at this H cell setup, boom, here's your pull, here's your bounce, here's your short to bounce, come in, break below, add to your H pattern, then boom. So 12 o'clock, you know, it, it made a low, and then into 1 o'clock it made a, a lower low. So again, to see the divergence here on Facebook on how you could have entered, here's, here's 12 o'clock, didn't think about making a new low, and then at 1 o'clock when the Q's made a new low, it ticked up. And then it, you know, closed near highs, and we'll see if we get some kind of follow-through um, tomorrow. Uh, and then, you know, a few just other other names. First of all, uh, let's talk about Intel. Intel, everyone knew layoffs were coming. Twelve thousand stock, you know, twelve thousand stocks jobs laid off, um, and they reduced their earnings. So we'll see how that affects the market tomorrow. I think Yahoo beat a little bit, but you know they're still in in, in flux. So you know we'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. Um, some guys wanted to ask me why am I in POT. Uh, which I haven't been in a while. You know, some of these laggards are coming back. The stock's been absolutely annihilated. This, to me, is a, is a small uh, day one. Oops, sorry, hold on. And a lot of these names are coming to their 200 days, so who knows, maybe this, some of these, these, these ags will come up and perhaps get to this one. All right, that is kind of lagging versus MOS. MOS, you know, actually, no, they both are, you know, are lagging, but they both had decent days. And if you go like this and let's just, Let's see if I can figure it out today. Go to insert, study, go to volume. Where is the volume? Hit apply, and you will see that, um, you know, little volume here today on the mosaic. And let's see POT. You know, POT actually had a bigger volume. So, you know, bigger volume day one. They're coming after things like that. So, you know, I just think it could be you know, a potential setup. So I took both of those long. I also took Goldman Sachs because Goldman Sachs, you know, went green. It's been a laggard. Most other, you know, financials are near the 200 day and this, you know, kind of just crossed this level and closed okay. So I do think there's some room there. Um, you could trade it versus spot. I, I had JP Morgan going in, you know, when Goldman Sachs went green and pushed, you know, it gave me a little bit of extra money. Um, 
But then during lunch, when the market sold off, I got out. But all in all, look at this. This is actually where the relative strength is. So I'm in the wrong stock right now, but I'm playing it for catch up. I think there's more alpha there. Here's JP Morgan on the way back up to, you know, the last year's resistance where Goldman Sachs, if Goldman Sachs was at that spot, it, you know, it would be somewhere closer to uh, 170. So we'll see if there's, you know, a, a trade here. And that's it, you know, in earnings season, you have to know what you're in, why you're in it, you know, you have to be careful if you're in a stock that, you know, has, um, you know, another name coming out, you know, no one really thought that you were gonna get a pre-announcement out of ILMN and basically the IBBs were, were very weak because of it. Um, you know, I don't think it's the end of the world for the IBBs, but uh, today it showed some relative weakness. So tomorrow we'll see what happens at, at this spot. I got out of my LBAU, you know, I was hoping at some point we break above this and who knows, maybe we can. You know, at this point, didn't get crushed. It's still above the eighth day when you had something like this name, you know, which is a pretty big component, getting annihilated. Okay, so we'll see what happens there tomorrow. And that's about it. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow at the morning call. We'll figure it out. We'll try and keep moving and grooving, making some money. And it's been much better to look for setups versus looking for a top. Have a good night.